welcome to Port Miami here in Florida, of course. Behind us waits the Scarlet Lady. The Lady in Red. <laughs> Virgin Voyage's first ever ship and we are boarding her today. Five nights sailing on the horizon, although we are quite accustomed to the Scarlet Lady already. Right, we came for the preview event so where we did ship tour and everything like that and that was great, but now what I'm really excited about is we're going to get an idea of what the whole experience is going to be. We saw the ship and we thought it was awesome. Virgin is so different and I think it's going to be such a different experience than we've ever had on a cruise before. So I'm, I'm excited to see what, what she holds. Interesting thing to note before we begin here, we have obviously not boarded yet. We are about to begin the process. We just parked in the garage and we have to head in. First things first is we have an on-site COVID test. This is a rapid test that Virgin provides. It's complimentary. You don't have to pay for it, but you do it here at the terminal upon arrival. So that's the first thing. Then we begin the actual check-in process and all that jazz. Let's go. It's Virgin Voyages time. Scarlet Lady begins now. The only thing though is there's a lot of people waiting in line down there. Like yeah. a lot of people back yeah. there. We'll show it when we get down there, but we'll, that looks like a lot of people. So between waiting in line, getting our COVID test done, finishing the check-in process, all that jazz, everything cumulatively took a little over three hours. So we thought because it was such an intensive process, we would give a detailed overview of that in its own separate video, which you can find in our Virgin Voyage of Scarlet Lady playlist. Now though, let's head on board to the ship. Five, four, three, two, one. And welcome on board, Scarlet Lady. It's time for the voyage to begin. Walking down the cruise room hallway because it's so late and our room's ready. Yeah, we just carried the bags on. Because we knew the room would be ready when we got well, here. We, we, didn't, we didn't know it was going to be this ready. Yeah, but. we knew the room would be ready at 2.45, not 5.45, but... But, it, nonetheless, room's ready and we're going to it. So when we were in the terminal, we were told that we would have to wear our masks in the terminal. Although, not everybody was wearing them. I would say like 50% of people were wearing them. But now that we're on board, like, it's for sure. You do not need to wear masks because it is adult only on the sailing well all the sailings all virgin sailings are adult only and um everyone's vaccinated and we have arrived 10338a is our room number yeah the rooms are weird on virgin so there's another 10338 but it's z it's on the starboard a is port z is starboard so i use my band to tap this is like your yeah. this is your room key but where do i tap at the uh, little oh at yeah. this at like the wi-fi signal yep Woo! little click wi-fi signal goes green <laughs> and we have been permitted to enter oh and the, <gasps> the lights magical. automatically came on that was magical oh look at the curtain look at the curtain <gasps> oh my gosh that was magical and music has started playing welcome to your retreat this is an XLC Terrace. XL is an extra large. But if you want a full detailed look at it, as well as basically every other room and suite category on board this ship, check out our video where we showed basically every room and suite category on this ship from the preview day. This is like pretty nice. Oh, it's super nice. Wow. Oh, they put water in here for us. Lots of fun stuff. We made it. But the fun doesn't begin just yet. We still have work to do. What's that? Safety drill. As you see, watch this before the drill starts and then head to your assembly station, which is put right there. Oh, we're in the casino. That's fun. Wow. Um, there was an announcement over the intercom that also said you could watch it in the app. So television and lights and other things in the room are controlled by this handy dandy tablet. Safety first, so we can hit play that safety vid and it should start playing. Before. <laughs> oh, man. Let's talk about life, Jaggers, just to shed some light. Slip it over your head and pull the waist strap tight. So when the water we can hear and see. This is the best safety drill ever. Does this make you more likely to follow the rules by watching it in this jazzy way? I don't 
don't even know what the rules are at this point. <laughs> it's easy. You just put on your life jacket and head to your muster station. Just remember one thing. The safety rules. rules. Matt, you just have to remember one thing. The safety rules rule. No, say it like you mean it. The safety rules rule. That was intense because <laughs> i meant it <laughs> oh and so now it'll ask you to tell who's watched the video so you just click everyone you can click i got distracted show me again or you can click and say <laughs> i've watched it if people are being honest they click that 100 percent of the time but let's say i've watched it there we go we're all square except now we have to actually go to our assembly station which is in the, the casino. casino all right here we are assembly station casino so you slip your left arm through and then straight over your head just like you would with a sweater vest. And then the strap just goes around your waist and then clicks in just like a seatbelt. Yeah, right? Yeah. Out on our balcony, getting ready for sail away, which is going to be gorgeous because the sun is setting. A monumentous occasion lies before us. The first seating in the terrace hammock. Yay. Yay! And I know people will ask, yes, every terrace includes a hammock. So it's like a seat hammock, it's not like a laying hammock. Well, yeah, pretty much. I don't I think I guess I... you could kind of, but I don't know that it would be comfortable. I don't... I think it's intended to be more of a seat. There you go. <laughs> Almost time to sail out that channel. Freedom of the Seas, Royal Caribbean Vessel, leading the way. They're going first. I think we're the only two in port today. Our bands are from 100% recycled ocean plastics. That's right. Love that. Uh -huh. Love the commitment to the environment and sustainability. Yeah. As we sit here in this hammock, I am remembering the fact that these are handwoven by an organization that like supports uh, basically like equality and like female empowerment. Yeah. So it's, it's like a core group that it does that but there's like a lot of things about this ship and a lot of things about virgin voyages in general that is like very eco so that's very, very nice very eco and very inclusive and very loving I <laughs> and that. i love it we, we lo love it we love love we love happy it's not hoffman sad travels it's hoffman loving happy super duper mega swinging a hammock travel Yay! Oh, oh the oh, table! Gosh. And I showed this on preview day, but in case you didn't see those videos, Go themed on. elevators. Let's head outside for sail away. Oh! The horn is blasting! And music! Let's head out. Of the ship. This, this is more our speed. It's party central up by the pool, understandably. But back here, quite nice. And just like that, we have pushed back from the terminal and we say goodbye, Miami. You look quite beautiful at night. We've never seen this. Would you say that Miami has good night aesthetic? Only if you trademark it. Hop, Hop and, and happy, happy travels. travels. Bye, Miami. We'll see you in five days. Because I just love it and I don't want to wait any longer to show it. 
the backboards have neon, well, they're obviously not really neon, but it looks like neon. Purple frame lights, dial the exposure down there. You can kind of see it a little bit more. That's awesome. Like, it's so awesome. I'm gonna judge every single backboard that I see that doesn't have that from now on. They're all gonna fail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight, nine, ten million. Why is there a wall here? Wow, you did a great job. I can't believe you did all the way to ten million. And that also went in. You're on a roll. You can't miss. <laughs> Dinner coming up very shortly, more on that later. But we were passing by um, the Social Club Diner, which is so cool that there's a diner and there's actually more than one, but we'll talk about that later. But we're passing by the Social Club Diner and we found something that I think is very, very, very intriguing. So here's what they have, at least for tonight. They have some mocha fudge, cereal bars, peanut brittle, which of course contains nuts, Peanut brittle V, which V means vegetarian, VV means vegan, keep that in mind. Cake popsicles, look at those, those look delicious. And praline marshmallow. Gummy bears, licorice, which is Twizzlers, and saltwater taffy. She's making me a candy bag. I'm getting a free candy bag right now. Step aside, sugar, beech, and cherry on top, which are an additional cost. I, this is gonna be trouble. I'm gonna, like, the amount of candy I'm gonna intake in this five days. And as Shels wraps up her sweets order, I wanted to show this Ocean's Treasure Tent. I showed this on the uh, ship tour when we came for the preview event. And I said, like, oh, you can win, like, a little different colored basketball. What I didn't, and it says Ahoy, like Virgin Voyages, but what I didn't realize at the time is that. You, it says here, visit Virgin Voyages shop to claim your prize. So $2 to play, depending on what color ball you get, you get a, a different prize. Now it's closed right now because I guess, because we're, we're just at port and they need to open it up. I guess, I don't know, because it's kind of like an arcade game. So maybe it's just not working right now. But that's pretty cool, you can get a prize. Dun, 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 dun. I have a bag full of candy and I have a bag full of desserts put in my room. They gave me donkey bags of sweet treats and I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to do about it. Like I would book this cruise just for this. <laughs> and I, I understand that that is not healthy, but here we are. Here we are. I, <laughs> this makes me so happy. And that's why we came right now before dinner. So we're just going to drop those in the room. So you for sure have a nice dessert or a late night snack stored away. Yes. They said the social club closes at 11. So I have my sweet treats. I'm not gonna eat them right now. We're gonna go get ready for dinner and have a lovely dinner. Oh, and in case it wasn't clear, that was completely free. That was included. Completely free. All food, well not all food, almost all food is inclu included on Virgin Voyages. There are some like premium offerings at certain places like Wagyu beef or something like that that could have an additional cost, but all eateries are included with your cruise fare. And there's over 20 on the ship. Yeah. And just remember, one of them has free candy. <laughs> and along the lines of dining, there is no main dining room and there is no buffet. They have all of these different actual restaurants on board, one of which we are visiting tonight instead of a main dining room. And instead of the buffet, they have what they call the galley, which is like, I don't even remember how many eateries that are all located in the same spot. Again, all included. More on that in the days to come. Tonight, Korean barbecue is in our future. We've entered the galley, which is the replacement for the buffet on board. They have all of these different stations where you can get food. So you seat at a table, they will serve you, but you order from the different stations, like the daily is one of them. You get soups and salads and stuff like that in there. But pay that no mind. We'll be back to the galley eventually. We're heading straight forward for some Korean barbecue. And we've arrived at our destination, Hongbae Korean barbecue. I love the neon sign. Clink. Let's head in. We have entered and it smells phenomenal in here. I cannot even begin. Look at this. It's like a miniature hibachi. It's so cool. 
So yeah, we have like the miniature cook area here in the center of the table. I love the lighting up above. Such a cool setup in here. Thank you. It is shared seating, so your table will be shared much at like like a hibachi would be. But it seems like it's going to be quite delicious. And much like other cruise ship restaurants we visited recently, there are QR codes for you to scan, which will bring up the menu. So basically how this menu works is you pick one of each item. So you'll pick one of the small bites, one of the rice or noodles, and then one of from the grill. But they pretty much said that like you can get as much as you want. And to start the meal, they bring this little like toppings plate out to everyone at the table. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Sauerkraut, kimchi, watercress. Uh, eggplant. Eggplant. And um, like a potato salad, I think. I think it was that one. Lots of interesting stuff. I don't know. This is definitely like a taste and figure it out kind of situation. All right, we all got the same appetizer, the crispy chicken. It comes with pickled radish, which is interesting. It looks and smells very, very good. Okay, we got more items on deck. So they gave us like a plate of lettuce, and then they gave us a bunch of sauces. But apparently what we're supposed to do is when they cook our meat in the hot plate, then we put it into our lettuce and then we put on our sauce and we make like a spring roll wrap and it'll be delicious. And look, they've started bringing out the raw meats that they're gonna cook. Oh, Woo. Look at that is sizzle and pop. And here's Chelsea's second dish, which is like stir fried vegetables and vermicelli noodles, I think. And here's my second dish. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's essentially a fried rice bowl. And here's the finished product of the short rib and the pork belly. I have not received any shrimp, so I have to show you what that looks like over here on Chelsea's plate. There we go. And now dessert is soft serve. They have three options. You can get uh, like rice milk, you can get black sesame, or you can do like a mix and get both, and that's what Chelsea did. And everyone gets a little toppings bar here. Marshmallows, caramel, and sesame granola. Who doesn't love the tinking glass neon? Isn't that fun? It's because it means cheers in Korean. I looked that up earlier. How do you pronounce it? I, uh, you put me on the spot. I said Sorry. it when we, come, when we came in. I think it's Hunbai. Great meal, by the way. It was really cool. It's kind of like, you know, similar to like a like a Japanese hibachi where it's like dinner and a show kind of thing. Only less of a show, but like it's it's prepared in front of you. Like there's not like as much theatrics to it, but you do get like the experience of it like getting cooked in front of you, which is super cool and smelled amazing while it was being cooked. I think it was like a table of six. So like you, I think you could have like about up to six people sitting at the table. And if you're smaller than a party of six, like if you're a party of four or three, you probably will get sat with other people, just FYI. I think this is the most popular venue on board, with good reason. It's a very special event, a special experience, shall we say. When we like were pre-booking um, like restaurant reservations on the app, this was the one that had the least amount of availability. Hence why we ate so late tonight, yeah. that was the only time still available. And why we did it the first night, because there wasn't much available, so. Yeah, so like, definitely like make sure you book this one, like as far of ahead of time as you can, because this one will probably be the one that runs out. So this was a success, and we will be eating at some of, kind of like the casual places, I guess you could say, for breakfast and lunch throughout the voyage, but we do have dining for dinner booked every evening at the places that require reservations. There's five or six uh, that require reservations to dine there, this being one of them. So we'll have something for you every night. This is just the beginning. Ooh, back in the room from dinner, and I wanted to show that this is what I wore to board and what I wore to dinner because there are no dress codes for Virgin Voyages. That's right. Any establishment we go to and eat at for this sailing, no dress code. We can dress however we choose, which I'm a big fan of. It's your dream come true. It really is. I have candy. You can wear whatever you want. When? What else can we ask for? Nothing. Oh, but there is an extra. Oh? Okay, so I have our little magical iPad thing. You can control things 
like movies on your TV. Yeah, that's, you can control the TV in general. And actually, if I may, I just wanted to point out first, if we scroll down live, if you'll give that a scroll over. Uh huh. The end. Okay, so these are the only live. So that's the negative, is that you have like four news channels and then two things that Virgin uses to show like a camera outside the ship or something going on. So not much live TV at all. But positive is Big that positive. they have movies and series, I guess, in here. But they have like really good stuff. Like, look, they have the Cruella movie that's like new. Yeah. And a big deal. But they have In the Heights. In the Heights, which is on HBO Max. They have a lot of like really substantial movies in here. So it's. And TV shows, Brooklyn Nine-Nine I saw. No way. Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah, go to series. Oh, my gosh, there's even more. Oh, yeah, that was just a little sneak preview. I mean, they, there are tons and tons. You're still in the A's, now going into B's. I mean, Holy molasses. And, and just, just to make clear, these are all included. And our extremely hectic day one comes to a close. So we had a very short amount of time on the ship so far because boarding took so long, but since we've been on board, it's been great. I will say this does not bother me at all, but there is definitely like a lot of hardcore partying going on tonight. Um, and you know, I get it. It's the first night. So people are really like, woohoo. Um, totally get that but I'm just we'll, we'll keep you updated on this situation because we have lots of people ask like is this going to be a party ship um so far a lot of partying's going on like I said have no problem with people enjoy have a great time but just to let you know the vibe so far people are definitely letting loose and having fun the important thing to note though is tomorrow day two day at sea and we are going to get into a lot more fun hey if you're interested in sailing on board the scarlet lady with virgin voyages we can help make that happen because we are first mates that's what virgin voyages calls their travel advisors so we partner directly with them and we're going to give you the best service and no extra cost to you whatsoever so feel free to reach out via that travel agent information in the description of this video. Once again, thank you for joining us for today. We'll hope we'll see you back tomorrow, day two, day at sea, on board Scarlet Lady. But until then, we're signing off for the night. Happy, Happy travels! You know what I just realized? What? I look like somebody very familiar today. See? Wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. See? Huh? 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 Look familiar? You keep pointing to me. Oh, I, I'm not good at these things. I'm holding the camera, I'm squatting, and I'm pointing at myself and myself at the same time. It's hard. It's hard. See? <laughs>